All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to create a histogram in Minitab. So again, if we go to the graph tab option, we have a couple of places where we can do this. We're going to start with a histogram option. Um, this is, generally speaking, relatively simple. So uh, the graph builder option is not completely necessary here, um, but we will explore the graph builder option afterwards. So if we look at a histogram, we're going to start with a simple histogram. Um, again, we'll explore some of these other options uh, in the graph builder option later on. So simple histogram, we're going to just hit OK to take the default. Um, in the uh, table here, they're going to tell us which columns contain numerical data. They're going to exclude all the categorical data because you can't make a histogram out of categorical data. Now, some things to keep in mind, the person number here is basically just an index. It's not really a variable. Don't make a histogram out of it. Gender is coded. It's not, again, it's not really uh, numerical data. It's really standing in for male and female. So don't use it. Really, our only two numerical data sets here are children and salary. Um, now, children is a discrete variable. There's really only four options, zero, one, two, and three. It's three or more. Um, so this isn't the best for a histogram. Uh, we can do a dot plot or something like that with this maybe. Um, again, you can you can conceivably do it with a histogram, but it'll have only four bars. Um, so uh, salary is going to be better. It's more continuous. And this is more like the kind of data that you should be putting into a histogram. So we're going to stick with salary. Um, now, some of these data options we're going to look through. Scale, again, this is, um, we can specify whether we want to display the counts or the percentages or things like that. Uh, we can talk about uh, what kind of axes and grid lines we want, things like that. Um, I'm going to accept all the defaults for the time being. For labels, you can have something like a, to a, a title. So histogram of salary. Um, again, we're going to go with the default. I'm not, again, sometimes histograms uh, can be very busy depending on how much data you have. And so adding the Y labels uh, like we did when I made the bar graph example um, is maybe not necessarily going to work. So I'm going to save that for um, another scenario. Um, data view, again, you have some options um, for displaying it. Do you want to fit the distribution? We'll come back to that at another time. Um, do you want to include alt multiple variables? Again, we'll worry about that with the other graph builder option. And then data options, again, if you want to exclude or include specific things. Um, if you have summarized data, you need to specify frequencies and things like that. Um, again, they don't really apply to us. We're just making a nice, simple histogram. And so when we've selected everything we want, salary, really, and just the labels, the graph title, we're just going to hit OK. And so here is our histogram. And one thing that we could look into is um, edit graph. Um, we might have some options in here for doing things like adjusting the number of bins or things like that, adding elements. Um, but for the most part, I'm satisfied with this. So this is a, a good graph to get us started with. Now, uh, we can also make our histograms, as I mentioned, from the graph builder. And histogram is one of the options. And uh, it gives us all of the choices here. Um, it doesn't specify which ones specifically are just numbers because we have grouping options. And for those, we might need to take advantage of some of the categorical variables. So I'm going to plot salary here. Um, group variable. Now, if I want to group something, um, I'm going to pick just age to group just to experiment with. Age has only three options. Now, 
Uh, this is something that you can do in Minitab that you can't do in a thing in a program like Excel. Um, there are diff three different categories here. And so you can see that like the young people are in yellow, that you have a separate histogram for young people. The elderly people are in blue. And then the middle-aged people are in pink. Now, even though they're overlaid on top of each other, it is still possible to kind of see how all the different things are grouped separately from each other. So um, you get, you know, a full histogram, but um, you get to see how they separate out. Young people are definitely making less money. Elderly people are kind of in between. And then the middle-aged people, that's sort of your peak income. So, uh, and then you can also adjust changing this to percentages instead of counts. Um, so you have some additional options here. We had we had all of these options on the other on the other thing. But if you again you want to see it before you publish it, then the graph builder option lets you play around with things um, and experiment before you commit, rather than creating five or six graph options and then deciding I only want the one. So and again once you're finished. Um, you do have to go back in and do things like add a title, uh, comparative histogram of salary by age group. Now, uh, I should note that one potential weakness of the percentage here is that um, it's percentage within the group. Um, and so there's actually more people who are middle-aged, uh, but relative to the middle age category, um, the percentages are smaller because there are more of them. All right, so that's our histogram.